guys, it's Rory, and today I'm going to show my dad some songs off of Saturation 3 from Brockhampton. The only reason why I'm not doing a big album reaction is because it's 45 minutes and my dad's impatient and he can't listen to a 45 minute album on camera. So, I, he's already heard Boogie because he saw my reaction. And Which so, yeah, and I've heard most of the album, but I haven't heard Zipper yet. So I'm going to listen to Zipper, and my dad is too. This is weird. <laughs> Sounds like a circus. Well, oh. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I like it. I like the lyrics in the beginning too. This is, they're using audio tune in a good way, which is pretty rare. Oh, there's Kevin. It's a happy little ditty. He always call it all the songs ditties. No, only parts of the song are ditties. This is the dude that you like, Merlin Wood. Oh yeah, I like that guy. He's playing Tony Montana. This one's really good. <laughs> yeah. But I think this is their best album yet so far because I've heard some of their songs off of it. But I think it's more accessible. What do you mean? It's not as rough. It's more like. It draws you in more. Yeah. I like that. I like that song. I wish it was a That's little bit longer, but yeah, I really like this song, Stupid. I like which the is concept. ironic. It's a little scobby. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Judging by my face, my eyes sit like a python. I think she might hit me for a lifetime. Some of this sounds kind of like their old style, and then it's got new layers of new stuff in it that's cool. I like the way he's rapping, like his little accents out of the lights. <laughs> kind of gives me like a calmer Danny Brown vibe. <laughs> yeah. America's favorite. I do my best. Oh, there's Kevin. It's like I'm stuck in the matrix. I like that he's no, doing like a little bit more rapping in this because he used to just be like the lead singer in it. Except for Star. Because he was I read that he used to rap all the time in one of the comments. Like, what? He used to rap all the time, dude. Listen to his old stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah, he actually rapped in Star and Junkie. Not that much else. Indian vibe? Or is that like Native Indian American? Or more Turkish? How is that Turkish? This this stuff is like more cheery and appropriate, I think. Maybe they listen to our advice. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what she means by play with my cell phone. I like the beat on um, like all I these. Yeah, it's like a little a little happy ditty. <laughs> They told us to react to Bleach too, and that's the next song. So let's listen to Bleach. Nirvana song. Oh, I've heard this song. Yeah, I remember this. It's a this. cover of Nirvana. No, it's not. Oh, I like this. <laughs> they're doing like this thing with the piano in the background where they're like slowing it down and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. Right, see? Like it's warpy. It's hey, no, I think they're like reversing out. it or something. Oh, I like this. It's giving me like a Frank Ocean vibe, the chorus. Yeah. Kitty? Oh no, it's not a cat. And then there's Merlin. That's it. Sounds like a cat. Yeah, it sounds like a cat in the background. I put my clothes on and try to check out. I got a lot of demons and I've been sleeping with them. And now I'm tangled in the sheets and sinking deeper with them. I'm going deeper in it. Climbing, drowning in it. 
Poetry. Introspective. I can totally chill to it. It's got that like calmer vibe, which I like. Yeah, it's heavy stuff he's talking about. Oh, there we go. No. It's this now. It's and there's a minute more. Oh. Now they're getting a little happy again. Everything. Oh. Alcohol, it's wine. They're not gonna let you just sit back and be mellow on it. They're gonna hit you with a little hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. like, don't get too comfy. Bear face? He's like never featured on this stuff. Oh, I didn't know what you were talking about. Bear face is a singer. I'll show you the music video for rental. You know people are going to say, you should put the video in the corner. Well, I don't have the software for that. I like that he was getting the haircut on the music video. That's just savage. It looks like they're getting ready to do the music video, but they just decided, okay, let's just do the music video. There he is in the Brockhampton jumpsuit. Do you like this song? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I love this song. Do you? Yeah. I thought it looked like a frat boy <laughs> when I Not first so much started anymore. liking them. But now I really like him. At first I didn't like his verse, but it grew on me. It'll probably grow on you. No, it's catchy, but there's not a lot to me going on with this one compared to the other one. But it's a nice song. Do you want to listen to another song? Yeah. I'm not going to remember what the names of any of the songs are, though, but I know I like the first two. Maybe the first three. I'm going to show you Team. Because the outro has a very interesting outro because remember this is the last saturation what do you think about this like convoy it's all right <laughs> that voice crack. This so this is the last song on the album yeah that's what i was saying earlier it's going to be more accessible to a lot of people yeah so they'll probably do very well yeah they have done very well That's kind of cool. But there's the little rock and roll guitar in the background. Well, they're doing like this wall of sound kind of thing, you know? What do you think? I like it more now. His voice is amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a well-constructed album overall, to be honest. I, I think it's like their best album yeah. of the Saturation Trio. <laughs> Little old me, I thought my world was progressive because my president was black. 25 mm -hmm. riders on the dress. I just said there's a progression and then he said progressive. It's got like that old soul guitar, right? Yeah. Like a little calmer, you know, like Jimi Hendrix, like calm stuff. Yeah. I put my phone on airplane mode because I'm on autopilot. Oh, I like that line. I put my phone on airplane mode because I'm on autopilot. I don't know what that means, but I like it. Now this has a very specific outro, and that's why I wanted to show you the song, and also because the song has, uh, I think the song's good. So after this, I'm going to play you the first song of Saturation 1, and you'll see why I like the outro so much. Wow, wow, wow. Sounds familiar? So this is the first song of Saturation 1. Oh yeah. So... Full they, circle. Full circle. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Now let me just jam out to this. I got my dreams of crap waxes, triple poles. Someone posted a comment about you reacting to the line about the stripper poles. I'm sorry for telling you that they're breaking up because they're not. Yeah. They... they Fantano said that they were breaking up, and then he, but then he like apologized and said that they're making a new album in 2018. More, Woo! so you're definitely gonna react to Team Effort. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Like they already released the album cover. Like, calm down. What was your opinion on the song Zipper? Was that the first one? That was the first one. I liked that a lot. I would give it a 8.5 at least. 8.5. Yeah. <laughs> A little wah-wah wa in my voice. And for what reasons? Um, I liked all of the different sort of sounds and styles on it. I liked, you know, the energy of it. I thought it was good. 
I'm sorry this helicopter is being an anus, so you might hear in the background. For zipper, I'd give it, uh, I'd probably give it a nine. I really like that song. I thought Matt Champion's flow on it was really good because it was like kind of slower than the beat. It's like two times slower. And I thought like, I, I really liked the beat. It was really weird and like circusy. And I liked how Joba kind of sang and introduced the song to us, kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. How did you like stupid? I liked it again. It was another one of those like happy ones, right? Yeah. I liked it because it was happy. Yeah. Well, how would you rate that one? <clears throat> I was like even swaying back and forth. Yeah. I give it uh, eight. Um, and? I thought the reason? first one had a little more going on lyrically, maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe. I don't know. There was <laughs> stuff going on with that, too. But it just wasn't as layered and interesting as the first one, I didn't think. I'd probably give that one... A, I need to listen to it again because I forget what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, stupid. I like stupid. I'll give that one. Did I, I like that one better than the first one? I can't remember now. No, I don't know. Oh. I, I, I really like that one. I'll give it a nine point one because it was point one better than uh, the other song. I really liked the beat, the little old school sounding piano. I, I thought it sounded old school. And I liked Merlin's verse on it. I liked all of their verses. It's really good. I like the little doo doo doo. Yeah. What does that go again? Why does your voice keep on crying? Doo doo doo. For the next song, Rental. Seven. Yeah. It's not offensive, but I just didn't love it. I thought it was a little boring. Yeah. Sorry. But it's nice because, like in an album, you need to have things that's just not constantly hitting you in the face. They kind of stepped it down on that one, which I kind of like. So for that reason, and for a couple, I'll give it a eight, ten, eight out of ten, eight ten. <laughs> I liked Matt Champion's verse on it, and he was kind of like um, exploring ranges with his voice, which he doesn't do normally. And then I liked the chorus. I didn't like the chorus at first, but then it kind of grew on me. So uh, yeah, for the last song, that was like the outro. Yeah. That. That went into heat. Oh, I liked that. I didn't like it necessarily at first, but when they put that sort of wall sound, yeah, the guitar in the background, just like up at the same level as like his vocal, I thought that was cool. Yeah. And then they just kept it solid through the whole middle of the song. I liked that. It was seven point five. Okay, so for that one, I'd probably give it a eight point five. I'm nice. sticking with the point five with you. <laughs> Um, but for, um, I really like Bareface's voice on that song, and I like the wall of sound or the guitar in it. I liked when they turned it into, like, more of a hip-hoppy beat. I really liked the idea that it's just a non-stop loop, the whole saturation trio, and not many people have done that. Is that, that. the same song that had the, the guitar in it that was like the wow-wow, the, like, old... Or is that a different song? It's the one that you that was like kind of punkish, I thought, and then like they they were cursing yeah. a lot on it. Do we listen to another song after that? No, that was it. Hmm. Bruh. Anyways, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.